Hello guys, how you doing? Welcome to Sim UK. This is Bus Simulator 21. And, um, I've got it slightly earlier than the release date. And, uh, I'm going to try and play through. And I, you can see I've got three screens set up here. So I'm going to try and uh, play on the hardest setting and see what kind of issues we run into. Uh, this is pre-release, it's not full release, so just bear that in mind. And uh, we'll see how it goes. I'm going to start in 1080p, and then we'll try and set up a few different things. Got a G29 wheel here, down here to my left, you can't quite see it on the camera. Um, I have a Cytex side panel, and over here I have my daughter. Hello, my daughter, and and our pet as well. So I'm running 1080p at the moment on this screen, um, and we will try and split that out into three screens. Bethany, could you please give the cat a treat for lunch? Thank you. Got a kitty cat here for this today. All right. So, in order to play this, you kind of need more than one controller. Ready for our next adventure? I've already prepared our first official route. The residents of Angel Shores are eager to see our new bus. So, first thing to note is, if you look at the shadowing. There it is. You can take over any time you want. Thank you. Um, if you look at the shadowing, it looks like they're floating off the ground. So do the buses. Oh, there you go. Do you see it just drop down? Speak to the driver and take over the steering wheel. Watch that. To drive or maybe just check the passengers' tickets. Let's let's just check the passengers' tickets for now. Do I have to speak to? Her? Okay. I mean, this is pretty awesome. This is what uh, made Bus Sim 18 uh, a really good game. The ability to just be around in the game. Um, I did a, a multiplayer session with Jimmy the other day. I'm sure what's going on there with the bus driver's door. An interesting hairdo. Um, it's a shame you can't sit down, Jimmy and I were saying. It'd be nice if you could. Just a minute. It has to be here somewhere. Yeah, who am I kidding? I don't have a ticket. Sorry. So that one of the cool things they've done is they've got people to do sure. voices. Oh, sorry. I, I must have lost it somehow. Wow, two fair dodgers straight away. Now, I'm not sure why the bus isn't automatically going, but I suspect if I shut the door... No? Okay. Maybe we're not due to go yet. One of the one of the irritating things is, as a, fair, as a ticket collector, is it doesn't show you where the bus is going. So the map in the bottom left-hand corner doesn't actually tell me anything. What the heck? I've no idea what's going on now. Hi, boss. Would you like to take over? I might have to in a minute. Also, you can't seem to open this back door, I've discovered. There doesn't seem to be anywhere. So I have no control over any door other than the front door. All right, let's take over. It's being weird. Oh, that's great. Thank you. Taking over buses is surely one of the perks of owning a transit company. This route connects the two districts, Highlander Park and St. Anthony. Let's drive the route. And don't forget what you learned yesterday. Try to be punctual, and like my grandma always said, safety first. Mind the pedestrians and keep a close eye on the track.
can't wait for the weekend to begin. Oh, we're kneeling. Okay. So, all right, let's let's start let's start early, shall we? Let's go into settings and let's go to controls and uh, bus functions. Right. So, we'll have open closed doors. Add a new binding. Ha ha. I think that worked. Um, so I'm trying to add buttons on the side tech side panel right now. I'm not a hundred percent sure it's working to be honest with you. It seems to be registering the fact that I'm pressing buttons, but I'm not wholeheartedly convinced. That one definitely went in. No, no, that one didn't go in. So it's not, it's not doing it. This, I'll be honest with you, this is why I stopped playing Bus Sim 18. Because it wouldn't take inputs from my Cytex side panel anymore. It did when the game first came out, and then they updated something, and then it stopped reading the Cytex side panel, and it looks like it's not working at all. Um, and to be honest with you, that that would be it for me. That would ruin it completely right from the get-go. <sighs> See, it, it closes, so it's registering that I'm pressing the button. It's just not adding the binding to the list. I, and there's no way on earth that there's enough buttons on a G29 to cover all of this. There's no way on earth you could do that. Not even if you had like, uh, you know, L3 plus triangle is a button and triangle is a button and L3 plus circle and triangle is another button. Do you know what I mean? Even if you do all of that, it's not going to work. See if we can do it from in here. Ah, we might might be able to do it here. Yes. Okay. So it does work. It's just quirky. So instead of adding it in the button bind, you add it in the steering wheel bind, which is a little odd because it's not steering wheel. But yeah, we can see past that. Right. Okay. Brilliant. Ah, oh, do you know what? That's an important thing. Right. Sound of ramp. Windshield wiper. Greek driver toggle charging. Kneel toggle. Okay. Now, this is another question. Can I have one button bound to more than one thing? So let's say I want button 18 to be the cockpit light and the cache. Yes, you can. Brilliant. Okay, this is great. Uh, headlights will be on here. Uh, oh, no, sorry. Headlights will be... Uh, 
uh, L2 on the G29. Cycle main headlight state will be this indicator left. Uh, Okay, this is wonderful. Wonderful stuff. Cockpit zoom. Oh, I may have just put that on. I'm going to remove that then. I don't want that. First person, third person. What is action cam? Not sure what that is. Cashier view. Actually, I want to put that on this one. That can go back to, I think it was triangle. Alrighty. Ah. Right. Now, one of the problems I had was that the braking was way, way too aggressive. Now, the input is actually really good. If you're looking at the input up on the uh, on the bar there, going up and down, that's pretty much how I would expect it. But I would say that that is gentle braking. But if I do that, the bus stops so quickly. So it's not the input that's the problem it's the way it's done in the game so that's worth noting right let's have a little go like this No head tracking yet. That's another thing that desperately needs to come in. Also don't know how to get rid of this thing up here. But, uh, okay. So, I've got to bring up the kneeling, which is that. That was weird. Have you ever heard the theory that we actually live in a simulation? It's crazy to think about it. But it could actually be true. All right, so the game is growing on me. Oh, okay, the braking is now very gentle now. So maybe that's... I've just had a 5 gig update. So maybe that's something they've addressed. Really need head tracking. Okay, so we'll put the handbrake on. We'll kneel the bus. We'll open all the doors and we'll put the ramp out. Oh, you can't put the ramp out whilst the door is open. It's such a nice day. Right, so I'm going to shut the door on that passenger. Then try and put the ramp out. Where did I put the ramp on? The ramp cannot be extended because it is blocked by something. I've had this problem before. Yes. Oh, I need to do the laundry. I hate doing laundry. Pardon? Where? All directions love bug was stuck in my head for hours, only yeah. to be replaced by hey, hey, hey. Don't worry, I'll sort it out later. Okay. Right, let me just try and sort this ticket out. So if I go... Uh, regular ticket. One trip. I need to call my mom. She's been texting me for days. 
Let's say change 660. Thank you. One ticket, please. 660 change. I gave him four quid. How did... I only clicked it twice. How did I give him more money? Senior ticket. Weak ticket. 24 change given. Oh, okay. Oh, because it's on hard mode. So I only have to give him a dollar. Thanks. That's why. I was playing on easy mode last night and uh, I kind of got into the habit of not trying to work out how much everything costs. Right. Oh, dear. That's third person view. That's very broken. I used to go to Chinatown often. But oh no, that was action cam view. Always had those awful puns, so I stopped going there. Right, there is nothing blocking that. I love going to church. Maybe so, because everybody I know we'll goes close door well. one. It's such a nice community. It's we'll drop the ramp. The ramp cannot be dropped. Do you want to see a photo of my cat? I have to press and hold it. Okay. So you can't lean the bus with that without having put the ramp out first. Okay. There we go. Okay, this game is growing on me by the second. This I looks fantastic. So when you're on a nice bus like this one. Yeah, it certainly does. Right, so I'll shut the door. Turn off the lean and pull in the ramp. That's cool. Okay, so we're very late. Why is my view now? So when you change the third person camera view, it also changes your cockpit view, it seems. Don't forget about shifting. Are we not in gear? Why are we not in gear? Ah, short trip, long trip. I just love every second on the bus. Okay. A bit of tweaking required. This is growing on me very quickly. I was a bit put off in my first two hours, but I'm starting to feel it now. Uh, hang on. Steering wheel controls, uh, driving and steering, so parking brake and handbrake are not the same thing, and stop brake, parking brake, handbrake and stop brake are not all the same thing, interesting. Ah, we got retarded strength. Here we go. Gear up. I don't know what that's bound to, but we'll go. Gear up is now that. I think that's what it was set to. That's probably what the problem was. Gear down. Here's that. Yeah. Okay, so that's what the problem was. Horn will be cycle ignition will be ah. that speed limiter toggle I don't need that right now so I've got to change the camera view option. Uh, view modes, there we go. I don't know what action cam is at the moment, so we'll just leave that as nothing. I am gonna need a third person camera view though, so Maybe if I press that and put it on square, that'll do for now. Okay, get my view in place. Oh, we're in reverse.
<laughs> okay, we got it in the end. I'm liking the hardcore mode. I'm glad they've added one. But I've got to be honest with you. Without head tracking, it makes that incredibly difficult to work with. All right. I think we got there. Darn it. I forgot to lock the front door. Because I know that they've got YouTubers doing voices on this, I'm listening out for friends of mine, and uh, I'm sure that was one of them. Well, I think it was one of them. Uh, right, so let's go third person cam. I grew up in Copper Pot, but I worked hard, and now I can finally buy a We'll open the doors. The last transport company was shut down by the city's local government because it didn't adapt to the changing needs of the public. But I'm very confident that we'll build a better transport network for the city and regain their trust. That's why all the old bus stops are still found around the city. It's true that some need a fresh coat of paint, but they'll do just fine for now. Yeah, so when I change the third person view, it distorts my cockpit cam view as well which is a bit of a problem at the moment nice you've even got water coming up needs the ramp okay Oh no, my Logitech profiler is slipping off the mount. Um, doors open. Master, I have an appointment. I think I'll need several tickets, please. Tickets. Okay, so he needs a regular one trip. Uh, try again. Uh, okay, so thank you. Thank you. Sitting at the marina always feels a bit. I don't know why. Okay, ramp in. Uh. Oh, what am I doing? Doors closed. I just love my cat so much. Ramp in. Away we go. And break off. Okay, so I'm still a bit rusty. It's going to take me a, a few goes to get used to the game. Used to my buttons, which I've only just set up. And get used to the fact that the braking isn't ridiculous like it is on easy mode. And I think that uh, pedestrian reacted to the crash then. <gasps> Which is kind of cool. Right, so I'm three minutes late. That's a tight one. In the morning. Good thing there's a coffee. Oh. I got out of my seat for some reason. Need to stop that from happening. Tickets, uh, senior. One trip. I don't understand how one person buys two tickets. It's uh, confusing for me. 
Uh, so, um... thank you. It's a bit laboured that. Thanks. What was that, darling? Oh, cool. Okay. Regular ticket, day ticket, one of. Doesn't it doesn't seem to react as quickly as I want it to. Which kind of makes you uncertain whether or not you've uh, click the uh, click the button or not. So there is a, a an easy mode, um, which I drove yesterday, and I absolutely hated it because it is just like playing an arcade game, um, which is perfect for console players, I would imagine. But now that I'm on the hard mode again, which is how I started, the braking is very laboured, which is perfect. Uh, the steering is less aggressive and I just got told off for having the indicator on whilst driving straight but I was waiting to turn left so maybe that needs to be looked at as well the external camera thing needs to be fixed Good thing there's a marina coffee shop right nearby. Oh, look at that. It's our first payday already. The city will keep rewarding us regularly, so long as we continue driving the routes and providing our passengers a great service. I've got an idea of how to spend our first paycheck. Do you? Take the bus and follow me. I have a little surprise for you. Okay, so we made 9,600, uh, bus maintenance 2,000, you can see the events there, but I can't scroll down the events. Uh, oh, can I? No. But uh, that was three stars, which is okay for a first try. Uh, this is full stats. Again, I don't... Don't appear to be able to navigate anything. Um, so we say okay. And she wants me to park the bus there. And get out and go and look at something. Is there someone snoring at the back of the bus? I don't know. Uh, let's get inside. Handbrake on. That should be ignition off. That's a bit aggressive on the old wheel, isn't it? Right, that should be that should be off now. So now I can get up and go and chat to whoever's asleep on the back of the bus. Wait a second. There. And again, there's no way for me to open the door. So, I'm going to have to go sit back down, take over the bus, and press door 2. I'm liking this. It's starting to become very cool.
Did she get off the bus? I think she did. Okay. This is one of the local bus dealerships. You can come here anytime to buy more buses. They always have the latest models. She runs very slowly. And we walk very fast. Use this interface to see what they have to offer. Okay. Look at that. A man, a Sitaro K, and an S14. Now, um, I know that some of the buses are buggy. They sent me a list, and I'll be honest, I can't remember which one it was I'm not supposed to pick. Because I know, they know it's buggy. Um, also, I don't like... I didn't like this before. Why do I have to unlock buses? If I can afford it, let me buy it. I don't like this unlocking thing. It's I find it irritating. Also, I can't rotate the bus. It just rotates itself. Which I don't like either. Um, I'm going to buy a Sitaro K. Which is what we were just driving. It's a safe How bet. How do you like this bus? If you change your mind, you can choose another one at the terminal. If you're ready to go, drive to the exit to buy this model. Again, my view is off. Okay. Handbrake off. Shut door one. And away we go. Oh yeah, look, it says, don't forget about shifting, and according to this, we're in neutral. Now we're in drive. So there's a bug there, because that bus should not have moved. Uh, but I do like this little sort of test drive area. Easy in this bus, but uh, probably way more challenging in the bendy. And whilst we're here, I'm going to change my view. Visuals. Advanced graphic settings. Cockpit field of view. Now, Jimmy's put his up to 115. I quite liked 120. But Jimmy said he could see both of the wing mirrors at 115 I think actually is right it was 120 I'm a little bit too far back uh, whoops oh Toby there is track IR maybe that's what they've just added today right that's going to be in my next video then that is going to be my next video let's just get this Set to 215. I think Jimmy's got it spot on there. 215 feels gonna uh, looks like it's gonna be spot on. Oh, yeah, that that feels about right. Although, if I press zero and try and move my seat forward, it doesn't work. I've got a sneaky suspicion you need a numpad for that, and I don't have a numpad on there. But I can move forward using my controller. And I, for me, that feels perfect. But once I've got head tracking, it's going to be even better. And the mirrors look pretty good, which is nice. Okay, I'm quite impressed. Right, let's take this bus out. And uh, we'll wrap this video up, and then in the next one, I'll get my head tracking set up, and we'll see how that works. Not sure what's going on with the glitches there. A little bit weird.
Yes. Good choice. What a great bus this is. Let's drive to the paint shop next. Our colleague Ted is waiting for us there. So Jimmy Daly's got a fantastic skin, uh, which was made for him by Astragon, I think. It really is very good. Um, they haven't made me one, but I'll probably have a go at making one myself. I don't know what's going on with the focus there. It's blurring every so often. I don't like that, obviously. Oh, that's nasty. It's worth noting again that this is early access. Uh, not early access, sorry, preview. So this is not the full release version. Although that is sort of three days away. So um, I think it's probably a safe bet to assume that we're going to have a few release day bugs that need to be sorted out. But I'm starting to feel it now. I'm really starting to, to... A lot of the things that I wanted in 18 are here. They're just a little bit... What the hell is going on with that view? Whoa. I don't know what is causing that. Hopefully that will fix it. We shall see. Here he is. Odd job. You meet somebody. This is Ted Kane. He's the spokesperson for economic development here in Angel Shores. I'm very glad to meet you. It's good to see the city has a public transport system again. Seems like a proper transit company to me. Let's get it looking like one, too. Right. It's time to put some branding on our buses. Don't worry. The paint shop has got you covered. Okay. He does look like odd job, though, doesn't he? Safely customize the vehicle, engage the parking brake. Okay, here we go. Let's have a look, see here what we can do. My look. Primary colour one. Why are they locked? They shouldn't be locked. They should be unlocked and have a price. And if I can afford the price, I should be able to buy it. I hate stuff being locked. Yeah, well, that's what you have to do here. You have to achieve it. So, there are some wraps, but as you can see, it's all blurry. So, I can't actually see what it looks like. Oh, that's quite cool. We ride with pride, okay. Let's go for Angel Shores. You can see how cool the uh, skins are. Uh, and if you haven't seen Jimmy Daly's video, 
definitely go check it out because they've done a really nice one for him. I need to change the bindings on my uh, Xbox controller as well. Yeah, so I'm quite happy with that. That's pretty smart looking. Try and not run over our job. Now that's what I call properly branded. Wow, looks great. I've already planned our next step. Uh, sorry to interrupt, but uh, Mira, I need you to discuss our expansion plan. That does look so cool. Right, I think that's a good place to wrap up this video. That's my first look. But technically, it's my third look, but it's my first proper look. I actually managed to get somewhere with it today. The SciTech side panel is working perfectly. The G29 is working perfectly. The button binding appears to be working perfectly, and it wasn't before. Um, and head tracking is now here. So join me in the next video where I'll definitely get on the head tracking. And uh, we'll see how that goes. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one. Bye for now.